Hey guys, what's up? This is Blaze the Movie Fan and it's time for another movie review. This time I will be reviewing the movie Mission Impossible Post Protocol. First I am going to tell you my expectations for this movie and if it met my expectations. I expected this to be a fun spy movie and this movie exceeded my expectations by a lot. I did not expect this to be one of my favorite movies of the year. But it is one of my favorite movies of the year. That's a surprise. So the story of this movie goes basically something like this. Ethan Hunt is on a mission to stop Russian spies who are up to no good. Now it's time to talk about the idea for this movie and the execution. I think the idea for this movie is actually very good and it was executed so well. Whoever made this movie really knows how to make an awesome spy movie. Because this movie stands out to a lot of spy movies and is actually my favorite spy movie. Now previously Mr. and Mrs. Smith was my favorite spy movie. But now it's Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. And you know what that tells me? It tells me that the guy who made this movie really knows how to make a spy movie. I am going to give you several reasons as to why this movie works out so well. First off, the characters. The main character is of course Ethan Hunt played by Tom Cruise. And Ethan Hunt is such an awesome spy. And there are so many reasons for it. He is brave, he is smart, he always knows what he's doing, he's a quick thinker, he is crazy, and he is overall just an awesome spy. Other actors of this movie include Jeremy Rutten and Paula Parton. Now, the other characters of this movie are actually very good characters and were done well. But I am not going to talk about them because I really didn't care much about the other characters while watching this movie. There was only one character that I was rooting for the, this entire movie and that's Ethan Hunt played by Tom Cruise. He is the only character of the movie that I truly cared about. Don't get me wrong. The other characters were also great, and the villains were also very good. But there is just one character I truly cared about, and I rooted for him the entire movie. Now I am going to explain further how he made the movie so good. This is a scary movie. That's right, I share it. This movie is very scary. Because Ethan Hunt was in many life-threatening situations. And when he was in those life-threatening situations, I was just thinking, Oh my God, please, don't die, don't die. I felt like that a lot during this movie, since Ethan Hunt was in so many life-threatening situations. And it was crazy. Now that I'm done talking about Ethan Hunt, let's talk about other things about this movie that made it such an awesome spy movie. Now, what is the most important thing about a spy movie besides story and characters? Well, it's of course the gadgets. Now, compared to other spy movies, this one doesn't have many gadgets. And that is a good thing, because the gadgets that were used in the movie really helped the storyline out. And it's better to have a few gadgets in a movie that help advance the story rather than having a whole bunch of gadgets that don't help the story at all. And that is the reason why this spy movie works so well. And that is also the reason why it is my favorite spy movie currently. Now it's time to talk about the comedy. Yep, this movie does have some humor in it. I don't know if the humor in this movie was intentional or not. But there are some scenes in this movie that really made me laugh. Don't get me wrong, most of this movie is serious. 
But there are still some scenes in this movie that made me laugh. If the humor in this movie was intentional, great job. If the humor in this movie was unintentional, then great job as well. Because unintentional humor is still funny. So, what are my overall thoughts on this movie? Well, I already explained to you why this is my favorite spy movie and absolutely one of my favorite movies of the year. That's right, I said it. It's one of my favorite movies of the year. This is how you make a fucking spy movie right there. And for that, I'm going to give this movie two thumbs up. I highly recommend you see this fucking movie as soon as you can. That's all I gotta say, people. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day. And again, I recommend you go check this movie out.